Welcome, I'm Ned, a Karma Guide, and I support people with integrating transformation. When things happen in life or we've chosen to make a shift, it often brings up things that we need to learn, but then actually really understand and live and take into our body in a way that actually shifts and carries you in a different way. And breath is one of the most powerful tools that we have available to us for free with our body at all times. So in this video, we're going to be looking at how it is that we can use the abdominal breath, or sometimes called the diaphragmatic breath, to support you on your journey of change. So what are the reasons why you would want to do abdominal breathing? Well, number one, using the abdomen and allowing it to move with the natural flow of your breathing is creating basically a lovely massage for all of the organs of your stomach. And when we massage, we bring blood flow, which means that we're bringing oxygen and nutrient richness to those organs. So your organs are getting more health and more good nutrient value, as well as being toned in a soft and nurturing way, rather than when we do tons of sit-ups and we can sometimes actually create too much strength and too much compactness and rigidity around the abdomen and then actually it, the digestive flow isn't so good. So we can also improve digestion with doing our abdominal breathing. So these are great things if you're someone who's got concerns around the belly and you want to feel a little bit less congested or a little bit more toned and free because with this massaging of the breath, not only are you relaxing the abdomen, but you're also actually toning the deep core muscles that work when we breathe, that are closest to the spine. And so you're actually gonna end up improving your posture and having a hopefully stronger, more supported spine and back. These are all really awesome reasons to get doing abdominal breathing just from that sense of what's happening in this region of the body and how that's gonna make you physically feel at a you know energy level and not feeling that bloated horrible stuck feeling that can sometimes arise when our digestive system isn't working so well another aspect of doing abdominal breathing is the vagus nerve which runs from the brain all the way down to the bottom of your pelvis and it branches out through all of this system through the ears the throat the chest and the belly and so as we do the abdominal breathing it is going to help us soothe and calm the vagus nerve and that's going to send messages back to our brain saying that we are calm that we are safe and that we can release any anxiety or fears or things that have been running around in our mind so it can reduce some of that mind chatter and help you feel a little bit more centered and in the rhythm and flow of life, which is a beautiful feeling to have. With that, we are activating the restorative nervous system, the parasympathetic nervous system. And so it's gonna give you access to those parts of your body that naturally restore and heal. And so with that, you might start to notice that you get better skin growth or nail growth or your hair starts to look a bit shinier because again we're bringing more nutrients to the body in that restorative phase of the nervous system because you're feeling that bit calmer the body has more energy to start restoring and repairing you. So I think these are pretty solidly good reasons as to why we want to do the abdominal breath. It's probably why it's one of the most common ones that we teach when we come into a yoga class to start helping people to find a bit more center and calm in their lives. And it's one that you can do in any position and anywhere. And it's a beautiful practice to just start to build some body awareness and connection to the subtle sense of feeling of what's going on in your body and building a starting point for better intuition and clearer choices in your life. So let's get to the practice. I'm gonna do it lying down because I find that it's a nice way for you guys to get to see the movement of my abdomen. As I mentioned, you can do this in any position. 
I'm going to take my hand onto my abdomen and one onto my chest. You could put both on your abdomen, but it's a really helpful feedback tool of where it is that you're breathing in your body. So if you're comfortable enough letting your hand rest towards the abdomen, and the lower down you can let it rest, the better, but don't worry about that at all, especially if you're just starting out. We'll be breathing in and out through the nose, but it's actually okay if you breathe in and out through the mouth if it's a specific practice, but for this one we'll keep it through the nose. If you like to close your no eyes so that you have a better awareness of the feeling, you're more than welcome to close down the eye gaze. And as you just come into breathing through your nose, just notice the initial stages of your breath. What does it feel like? What does it sound like? And where do you notice it the most? As you may be able to see in the video, I've naturally shifted into just breathing into my abdomen and my hand is moving up and down because my abdomen is just moving naturally with my breath. You are looking just to let the abdomen move as the breathing happens without force without effort. You may notice that the abdomen starts to gurgle and that's a sign that that parasympathetic nervous system has begun to be activated. The vagus nerve has told your brain it's okay to relax. And if you find it hard to breathe down and notice your belly moving under your hand, you can also Imagine that you're breathing in and out of where your hand is on your abdomen and that sometimes can help us begin to shift awareness of breathing down into the abdomen without force. If your mind wanders, just bring it back to awareness of your breathing in your abdomen. And if you want to challenge yourself, you bring your hand lower down towards the pelvis and try and see if you can feel breathing all the way down towards the pubic bone. And just to be clear, there is no better, bigger going on here with the breathing. It really is a question of just what feels comfortable and relaxing to your body. Sometimes it will be a bigger breath than others and that's just the nature of your nervous system and breath. And normally after a couple of minutes of this, you're going to start to feel that shift in your state and your emotional well-being. And you can either stay and do this for a little longer. It's wonderful when you're first beginning to do this for a good five minutes. But when you're ready, you can just continue with your day. If you enjoyed this practice, then it's one of the many that are in the Power of Your Breath course. 
This is a self-paced online course where you can discover the different tools of your breath. Through these very simple practices, you can learn how to shift your state for different experiences and different points in your life's journey of self-growth and develop a practice that really is gonna take you to where you want to be your best self in each moment throughout your life. So check out the link below and it comes with a free bonus resourcing module to support you with those moments where we sometimes feel a bit triggered or activated in life. So check out the link below and can't wait to see you there.